the best lip gloss ever. my intro I went to the football game Giants versus Jaguars well I live in Jacksonville but I am a Giants fan so I finally let you see the inside when you do the uh, box seats when you actually have club seats I told you the next game I go to I was gonna show you around so that's what I did I keep my promises exactly so what we doing today you know i keep it short and sweet boots what boots do you have that you bring out every fall well i have my usuals and you will be seeing those styled up just stay tuned go to my TikTok, my instagram that is where you will see me style just about everything you ever see me bring here 
you will see me style it first or at the same time on Instagram. So I got some new boots in. I wanted something with some color. I wanted something different. And I got it. For one of these, I got a blazer specifically to wear with it. So let's get started on the first boot. Wait, before we get into all that, you know I like to tell you things I've been looking at and watching. So, I've been watching, uh, I went to see Black Adam. Let me talk about that first. Wait a minute, last time I was up here, I was supposed to talk about the movie Smile. So let me go ahead and start off with that. Smile, okay, I went to the movies to see it. It was creepy. Now, I love horror movies. Um, not gore, horror. It's two different things. Uh, but I love horror movies. And I love the ones that make you jump without really doing anything to make you jump. If that makes sense. So, Smile is the type of movie that you just want to use your imagination and think the worst. And then think about if this was happening to you. It's like... The best part of this movie is her descent. The main character's descent into what I call madness. Because if that was me and nobody believed me, and it's like living in a nightmare that no one else is a part of, but it's real life. So yeah, go see Smile. I liked it. Probably on your Amazon stick by now. I'm not gonna say nothing about that. But Go watch it, really good. I just went to see Black Adam. Now, I never, I don't know about you, but I never care about what critics say, okay? I'm gonna go see what I want, pay my money to see what I want. I don't care if they say it's the best movie ever, and then you go see it, and you like, well, how they say that's the best movie ever? So I don't listen to critics. Uh, I'm not a critic, I'm just a person who went to the movies. Okay, so I'm not there to critique every little thing. I am there to tell you whether I liked it or not. And Black Adam was so good. Um, what's his name again? The Rock played Black Adam so well. Why? Because he wasn't trying to be anything he wasn't. That means he wasn't trying to overly act. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. He didn't try to overly act. It was what it was. It is what it is. Then I like all the other characters. And it's great when a movie have characters that it's not just focusing on one person. So it just didn't focus on him. So I loved all the characters. And I will say that is a movie that I will go see again. And for friends say, hey, I didn't see Black Adam. You want to go see it? Sure. I'll go see it. Sure would. Because with so much going on, that is one of them movies that's worth Wait until you can sit down and look at it again where you can really pay attention to stuff. So, yes, I hope they have a second one. What I will say about this Black Adam is if you like Shazam, that comical superhero, I can like Goofy and don't know what he wants, this is the total opposite. This is the total opposite. So, go check it out. What I've been watching on Netflix. Um... The Curious Cabinet. I think that's the Curiosity Cabinet. I think that's it. Go, you should watch that. Each episode gets creepier and creepier. It's one of them things that's like mini, it's like little mini horror stories. Um, and you know we love a good series where they're not trying to drag nothing out. It is a horror story. They, they different. Ain't the same characters. And... Go watch that, guys. Great. Okay, first boot. I'm going to go from low to high. Not in price in the actual boot itself. Look at these. You know a good lace is everything. Is everything. You're going to see me style these. Once I didn't show them, you know styling them is going to come next. Um, I got this off of the secondhand site, Vestier. I told you that's where I get all my secondhand luxury. These are, you think I'd be more prepared. These are, uh, oh yeah, the Gianvito Rossi. 
and they lace peep toe look at that heel look at there I, I don't even think they're warm I, I just don't so they're the lace sock so these I can't wait to wear now I should have went up in the size so if you get something like this I would say go up a half a size uh, now it fits but it fits snug especially around here but you know I'm putting on I'm putting on you know make sure your 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 feet is nice and um moisturized so you can slip right in them don't put no dry feet in these shoes people don't moisturize their feet I don't understand it you know your feet is skin right and it's got the roughest skin to me so I moisturize my feet in between going to get your pedicure instead of getting a lot of pedicures i don't know you can afford a pedicure every two weeks that's on you great i'm not getting a pedicure every two weeks because the pedicure i get is one with everything from the root to the tutor so i i'm not paying them every two weeks for that so i go when it's time to redo my gel toes and then i can tell okay feet you need something extra but I moisturize my feet every day. And that keeps your pedicure going. So these lace booties is my first pair. I can't wait to style these. I got the perfect outfit I want to go. I'm going to go real grandma sexy on y'all. I bought a lace. You know I like to tell you beforehand something. So I bought a lace. H&M bodysuit. I know y'all have seen it. Uh, here it is right here. I bought a lace here or here. I don't know where I'm putting it. A lace bodysuit. And I'm wearing these lace booties. And I got me some lace gloves. Okay. I ain't telling y'all. Okay. The next pair I am so excited about. But let me tell you what I'm wearing first. Because I do get people who ask me. Okay. So I'm doing... You will see probably at the same time you see this or the day before, not sure. I am styling black outfits, but black with something. So this one is my gaudy gold. That's what I call it. Black and gold. So I got on this black and gold um, dress that I thrifted. And I thrifted this a while ago. And it's just, it has gold and black. Uh, on it is see-through so you have to wear a slip and then this vintage gold and black vest and it's mirrored I don't know if you could tell but it's mirrored buttons look at the details in it look at the details in this vest and I started with some black boots and my black earrings puffs that I like to wear whenever I just want black earrings and this is one of the outfits. I went to a, you know, one of those uh, markets where everybody come with their small business, come with their things that they make or, or sell. Most of them make their own jewelry, make their own candles, stuff like that. Well, this lady made her own uh, ear, earrings, bracelet, neck um, uh, rings. And I do have the bracelet. I mean, I do have the necklace also that goes with this set. And it's just so pretty and elegant. And I really like it. So that's what I got on. So, you know, I'm filming. So, therefore, I'm going to wear one of the outfits. Because I ain't got time to keep changing clothes for nobody. Okay. The next pair. Ooh, I am so excited for these, baby. Mmm. I know you've seen this all over Instagram. If you do any type of boot shopping for boots, these purple, you know, purple is my favorite color. These purple Steve, I think they Steve Madden. Yeah, I think they Steve Madden boots. Yeah, they should be, yeah. Okay, look at this. I don't know if you can really see the metallic. Then it's got the buckle, the big buckle on it. These boots here, when I tell you I can't wait to style these boots, I got them in a half size up because I want room because look, this is seriously narrow and pointed and look at the heel. 
It's got a metallic purple heel on it as well. I can't wait to style these, guys. I haven't even tried them on. Lord. I just took them off the packaging. You know, I got to stop doing that because I don't even try stuff on until I come up here to show it to you. And then I'd be like, oh, let me unbox it because I save it. But I got them a half size up just to be safe. Let me see, child. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go a half size up. This is perfect. Oh, my God. Guys. Oh, boy. Mm. This right here. Oh, my goodness. It's making me want to style them tomorrow, but I'm not on my way. Now, let me show you the Zara blazer. I got to go with it. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this Zara blazer. You know, I'm going to put the picture for you to see. Look, it's got the gold buttons. It's, um, this one is... Um, I got it in an extra large because I wanted it. I didn't want it to be the thing about Zara blazers. If you get your size, it's going to fit you fit fit. And this one, even though I got it in an extra large, cause you know, I like my blazers a little roomier and I want to be able, if I wanted to, to actually close this up, look at the buttons on the blazer sleeve. And then this purple, it's got the um the shoulder pads in it it is just oh my god it is just everything it's heavy which because you know it's definitely for fall and winter and i just cannot wait to style this you know the blazers when they first come out you the cheapest you may get this was 89.90 yeah, $89.90. And I wanted the purple. They sell out and things so fast that I could not take the chance of not getting the blazer. I already didn't get a chance to get the pink with the feathers. I saw that pink blazer with the feathers. And I said, mm, when would I wear that? But then I'm thinking to myself, girl, you will wear that anytime you want to wear it. And when I went back, they didn't have my size. That's the thing about Zara. If you see something you like, you just might as well. Ain't, it's not going to go on a sales thing. If it's one of them popular ones, they had it in orange. And I still, I did not get that pink. And I'm so mad about it. And people trying to sell it for $200 and something dollars. Uh, boo, I will wait to the next one, the next person come along and make another blazer with some feathers. Because I'm not paying something that I know when I first saw it, it was only... 119 and you trying to sell it for 249 how about no how about no i'm not so that's that blazer oh guys i can't wait to style it i cannot wait to style it okay so the next thing i got these on one from one of my um you know i do the the thrifting online i fell in love with this I know it's tiger stripe with the black and orange. I really like this. They were barely worn. They just squished, um, what they call them when they look like they squished down boots. And the only thing I'm gonna do with them, and I got them, I got them a size up. They only look like they've been worn. So all I do is disinfect the inside. If you want, you can also just buy you your own, um, you know the stuff that you put your foot down on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The sole on the inside. If you want to, change that one out. But this one is so intact, I will have to put one on top. So all I'm going to do is disinfect it. But who I got it from is very, very, you know, she's all about, um, she makes her own clothes. She, she sells stuff to, to, um, to you know, to when you get rid of stuff out of your closet and you just want to downgrade, that's when she sells stuff. And most stuff she's worn once or twice. So I looked out and got these boots. I think she, I think I got these for 
$5 or $10. I can't remember. Please. I'm going to style this up. These are so nice. I really like them. The last boot, guys. Told you I wasn't going to keep it this time. The last boot. Ooh. I ain't messing with y'all. I'm not messing with y'all. This cognac, um, what they call it? The latex. I call it a, like a latex, but it's P U P U or I don't know. It's a shiny boot, child. These boot come. This boot come all the way up my thigh. When I talk, tell you all the way up my thigh. I don't know how I'm gonna style it. I don't know what I'm gonna wear with it. But you're going to see me style it. And the one thing about thigh high boots, they are never going out of style. You can put a thigh high boot on and put on a long dress. Because you just want the look of the boot itself to flow. Especially if you got on a long dress and it has a split. That's even better. Put you on a short skirt with this. And make it make the boot be the only thing that's like pow. Put you on a jean skirt and a cute t-shirt and a blazer. Especially if you put on something short, like a short mini skirt, a t-shirt or a bodysuit, and you a blazer that's longer than the skirt, and you put these boots on, everything. And yes, I'ma show you that grandma is gonna rock. These boots, I don't care if I just walk around my house. These are, who did I get these from? I got them from Saks Fifth. I got them for Saks Fifth, I believe. But so, you know, it's, it's a pow boot moment. So don't forget, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and you will see me style those boots. I told y'all I wasn't going to keep y'all, but you know I have to do my scripture for the day, so let's get to it. Hey, the scripture of the day is hurting words. Mm. I know you just said a hurtful word or two in your time. Come on. And I think I just said something hurtful yesterday. So the scripture is, y'all know I can't see. Careless words stab like a sword, but wise words bring healing. Proverbs 12, 18. Words can cut deeply. It's amazing how many of us struggle to remember a phone number, but we can perfectly recall a string of harsh words spoken to us years ago. Okay, I don't know nobody's phone number. And that's sad. Because back in the day, before cell phones, you had to have everybody's number memorized. If you wanted to call somebody, you had to have. We had phone numbers memorized, and now we can. We be like, uh, eh. so it can be done. We just don't do it. Ain't that funny? We just don't do it. Throughout the Bible, God characterizes a person of wisdom as one of few words. That means you don't talk a lot. You wise when you don't run your mouth. Stop talking. When people are saying a lot of stuff, don't entertain and keep going back and forth with them. Sit there like this. Okay. Before you speak, think about it. Because once you say it, it can't be taken back no matter what you try to do. Perhaps this is because a careless word can do so much damage. None of us can deny that words carry power. They can easily leave a mark that is not quickly erased. Do your words bring healing to those around you? We can't underestimate the power of our words. The beautiful thing about this next verse is that it reminds us that wise words bring healing. So you can bring healing with your words. Just like you can harm. So now, when you get as you get older, you should be asking yourself, am I harming? Am I doing any good with what I'm saying? If I'm not, it's no point in keep 
especially when you have someone that loves the drama, loves the back and forth, trying their best to make you lose your self-control. The more you learn to do self-control, when I speak the words to you, they are gonna be carefully thought out, precise words. And people can't take that. So, watch your mouth. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for joining me. And see you the next time. Don't forget, you are beautiful. Bye, guys. <laughs>